Good morning. Yeah, let me start uh, the next part of uh, module four, that is uh, no oscillators. So yesterday's uh, PPTs I have uh, no um, recorded and I have uh, no uploaded in the YouTube. You can go through that. Uh, if you have any clarification, let me know. Next part is oscillators. So let me start oscillators. Oscillators, when you say oscillators, hello, are you able to see? Uh, yes. <clears throat> Oscillator is an electronic circuit, circuit that generates a periodic waveform on its own on its own means without any input signal it will generate a signal that is a uh, oscillator yeah so uh, just you have to give dc uh, voltage for its operation or you need to bias the circuit using dc but you need not give any input that is ac signal you, you are not giving any signal, you are generating a signal. That is how this oscillator works. It generates a signal without any input. That is a definition you can take. So oscillators are the circuit that produce continuous signal of some type without need of input. These signals serve a variety of purposes in communication system. You have uh, no application for this oscillator in digital system, including computers you will find application and even test equipments most of the test equipments today we use in the laboratory they all require oscillators uh, in it okay so oscillator is a circuitry which consists of an amplifier and a feedback network so uh, two components majorly okay two blocks it will have so to begin with let me uh, take oscillator as a block and when you apply the input input uh, what i meant is it is a dc supply that you are giving for its operation but as an input you are not feeding anything so output you can get sinusoidal wave square and sort of the different waveforms different waves you can generate with this block that is an oscillator so feedback oscillator uh, relies on a positive feedback as we have discussed yesterday <clears throat> yes we discussed yesterday uh, that you no know, positive feedback and negative feedback and also i mentioned press the point negative feedback we use in amplifiers but for oscillators you require positive feedback so that is what we everywhere will be talking positive feedback today's uh, in today's class so positive feedback uh, that is uh, maybe RC circuitry or LC circuitry, but for your study, you have only RC circuitry as a feedback circuit in oscillators. Okay, so that is about uh, background of this uh, no, um, oscillator. This is how it looks like positive feedback in oscillators. So just try to understand this block. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> so this is a block diagram i have shown this a stands this arrow symbol op amp symbol 
says it as an amplifier with a gain AB, right? And you have a feedback circuitry, feedback circuitry here in the feedback path, means through which you are passing some of the output back to the input, right? So that feedback output itself acts as a input to the amplifier initially. Once oscillations are started, then uh, it will continuously keep oscillating without any input. So in reality, um, maybe noise at the input of amplifier itself acts as an input to for this. But as a, an engineer, you are not feeding any signal as an input to this practically, but it is generated within uh, the circuit. So how uh, it may be noise or when uh, small uh, charge carriers move uh, in the register um, uh, the, the because of the thermal energy small uh, charge carrier carriers will you know, uh, make current flow in the uh, input circuit and that is amplified by the amplifier and that is how signal is generated but from any external source you are not giving any input that is a mechanism and feedback circuit is there to produce zero degree phase shift if amplifier is producing zero degree phase shift. If amplifier is producing 180 degree phase shift, you have to design feedback also uh, that produces 180 degree phase shift. So that is what we say. It, it, if both the signal, the signal at the input of amplifier and signal at the output of feedback network, both should be both should be in phase then only you can say positive feedback and that is very much required in oscillators positive feedback keep this in mind right so <clears throat> yeah just yeah uh, next Yeah, Latesh. Nesa ready. Nesa ready. Yes, okay, fine. Are you able to hear me? Nesa ready. Tatvik. So, you are able to hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, good. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, the uh, screen is clear now. It is fine. Screen is okay now. Sai, Sai Kushal. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Yes, sir. So, yeah. So with this background, we'll directly start analyzing the uh, oscillator circuitry. As I said, oscillator circuitry consists of an amplifier with a gain A, first box, block diagram you can see, amplifier with a gain A, and a feedback network with a gain beta. Or some people call it as feedback fraction beta, or I call it as a feedback factor or feedback fraction or it is a feedback network gain okay so uh, by uh, they, they will ask in the problem with any name given you should be able to understand it as a feedback network gain it is given output by input output of feedback is vf what is shown and input to the feedback network it is a output of amplifier v naught is going as an input to this feedback network I hope uh, you, you can see this, right? So my input Vs, what I have shown in the beginning, whatever may be the signal, input signal may be noise or because of the thermal energy, some uh, charge carriers may flow and that may act as an input signal to this amplifier. But you are not feeding externally, as I said. But uh, no, representation we have shown like this, that noise may be the signal, okay? 
so when i say this is a signal vs and vf is coming out of this uh, feedback network both are added this is a adder symbol okay uh, so where uh, no plus shows both the signals are added and v is addition of the both the signal because it is a positive feedback we are talking in previous case feedback concept we discussed negative feedback especially there we discussed the no uh, the input coming to amplifier was vi and that was a difference between the signal applied at the input of amplifier and the coming uh, signal coming out of uh, this feedback network right but now here it is a addition because it is a positive feedback you are giving so uh, that is what the principle of oscillation says and when you uh, want to analyze the amplifier part and try to <clears throat> find out gain gain a is equal to v not by ve v not by ve okay, for the amplifier but what is ve ve is yes look at the expression 1 expression 1 v is equal to vs plus vf means it is a input signal plus the feedback signal put together is appearing at the input of your amplifier that is a meaning yes next feedback signal what is a feedback signal feedback factor beta is equal to vf by v naught so similar uh, same expression i'll write for vf right when i write for vf it is nothing but beta times v naught expression 2 you can just observe this is how uh, the the oscillator circuitry in the beginning you have to write block diagram and start analyzing it so in continuation with this let us develop next expression for v naught so what is v naught v naught is gain a times v as i said in the beginning amplifier gain a is equal to v naught by v e v is error amp uh, signal or it is a effective signal that is coming at the input of your amplifier so output by input gives the gain right a gain a but when you write expression for v naught it is a times v a but what is v a already we have seen in the previous slide it is uh, no uh, v a is equal to v s plus v f right v s plus v f so a as it is v you are substituting v s plus v f right that is expanding you will get yes what is vf again you can substitute a into bracket vs plus vf that you have a into bracket vs as it is plus vf is just now we have seen beta times v naught the feedback signal is given as beta times v naught right so we know that because feedback factor beta is vf by v naught so vf is nothing but beta times v naught same thing you are expanding a times vs a into vs plus a into beta times v naught so a beta v naught this is an expression for output voltage v naught now we output terms v naught and v naught v naught on the left hand side and v naught on the right hand side these two terms i am taking on the left hand side and i am taking v naught common from this so the expression becomes in bracket 1 minus a times beta in multiplied by v naught is equal to a v s as it is from the above expression a a times v s as it is right that is a simple thing to understand so in continuation with this what is the expression for gain now gain a is equal to what yes try to write the expression gain with feedback you are talking so v naught by v s so that is nothing but a by one minus a beta please check from this expression a is again with the feedback when you write a suffix f you write so that is equal to v naught by v s is equal to right right uh, 
sorry, uh, the, the expression for uh, gain with feedback you are writing, that is A divided by one minus A beta. That is equal to your V naught by Vs, correct? So that is what it is written here. This is the expression you have to arrive at for oscillator. So same circuitry in the beginning, what I shown block diagram, amplifier and feedback network in the oscillator will give you the expression with feedback for gain uh, A divided by one minus A times beta. Uh, from this, you, you can comment from on this expression, you can start commenting. So from the expression, when, sorry, yeah, when A beta is less than one, what happens to the oscillator? When A beta is greater than one, what happens to the B, uh, gain? And when A beta is equal to one, what happens to the gain? Okay, so or oscillations. So the, these are the condition, different condition, A beta less than one, first case. Referring the same expression what we discussed just now, A beta is less than, yes, A beta V in is less than V in, the output signal will die out. That is damped signal you will get. If, yeah, coming to this expression, when A beta is less than one, definitely, yes, what happens? The gain goes on reducing. And when goes on, uh, gain goes on reducing, the signal strength reduces. In the beginning, maybe you are getting the signal generated at the output of this amplifier, but over the time, okay, uh, uh, you will get signal strength reduced. Why? Because A beta value is less than one. Every time you go on substituting A beta next lower value, next lower value, it shows that damped signal you will get. Okay, so that is what a damped oscillation is a oscillation whose uh, that uh, loses its energy over the period of time. Okay, that is damped oscillation. A, B, A beta greater than one. When A beta is greater than one, output signal will build up. That is signal strength goes on increasing. When A beta greater than one, so uh, definitely uh, the, the the strength of a mag, uh, signal at the output goes on increasing a b equal to one this signal with this condition it will be steady but in the beginning you cannot keep a b equal to one later part once oscillations are started uh, then you can keep a beta is equal to one no, continuously it will start oscillating, it will start giving signal. But in the beginning, if you keep A beta is equal to one, you may not, your circuit may not start the oscillation itself. Practically, you can observe this in the laboratory. We'll discuss that again. In the laboratory, one or two class will go to the lab and uh, no, we'll demonstrate it practically uh, with all these conditions. Okay. <clears throat> So time being, try to understand the expression for gain with feedback in oscillator, that is positive feedback I'm talking. And then you know, uh, try to comment on the expression, taking the case when A beta less than one, A beta greater than one, A B equal to one. Okay, um, again, we'll solve few problems. There you will get more clarity on this. So now classification or types of oscillator that we can uh, no, how we have uh, RC oscillators, we have LC oscillator, you have you no know, crystal oscillator, okay, or uh, unijunction uh, transistor, uh, uh, UZT uh, oscillators you have, but that are not of uh, no uh, interest at this stage. Only RC oscillators, as per your syllabus, where we are, I am discussing only two oscillators in RC category, RC oscillator category, that is Wayne Bridge oscillator and phase shift oscillator. Only two for the syllabus, okay? You need not worry about OS, RC, LC oscillator. Yeah, RC meaning is in the feedback network, you have R and C components, that is register and capacitor. 
uh, in lc oscillator you have inductor and capacitor uh, in the feedback circuitry to generate required the uh, no phase shift uh, and uh, it should help you generating oscillations okay so the rc oscillator then why we want, we are talking about rc oscillator rc oscillators are the circuits oscillators or these are the electronic circuits which are used to generate signals in the range frequency range 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz maximum 1 mega you can go but audio range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz is a audio range that range of frequency easily can be generated with this rc oscillator so lower frequency range if you want to generate you can go for rc oscillator higher frequency range if you want suppose say 10 megahertz not kilohertz megahertz i am talking when i say megahertz 10 megahertz or 50 megahertz frequency signal i want then you, you will not be able to achieve that uh, with rc oscillator that time you have to go for lc oscillator inductor along with the capacitor will help you in you know uh, developing a signal of high frequency so that is the advantage of going for lc oscillators but um, in the first year level uh, that is not uh, you know important maybe third some level you have some experiment on this but uh, for first year only you have rc oscillators okay so we'll concentrate more on rc oscillators rc oscillators as i said rc feedback oscillators are generally limited to frequency of one mega or less than that audio range it is preferred actually 20 hertz 20 kilohertz to 20 hertz but <clears throat> you can go up to one mega also in vein bridge and all it is possible but the same signal will not be that uh, no proper okay so that is why we avoid using rca oscillators for higher frequency only audio range you can prefer you can design a circuit okay so only two types of uh, no rc oscillators that we are discussing today that is phase shift oscillator and vein bridge oscillator so how this phase shift rc uh, phase shift oscillator looks like this is a circuitry this is a circuitry how it please just observe the circuitry yes so circuitry we call it as a rc phase shift oscillator circuitry this is a practical circuitry that is used in almost all uh, no, low frequency generators or signal generator okay this is possible with rc phase shift oscillators so what you have here latish reddy what you have Nicer day one. Yes. What what are the main components you can identify? Nicer day. In the block diagram version we have seen. Hello. Yes, Mukta. Mukteshwar. Yes. Ah. yes, tell me what are the main blocks you are observing here? Yes. Shailesh so, Satvik. Uh, what are the two main blocks we can observe here in the circuitry? Block diagram we have seen, right? 
Yes, sir. Uh, what are the two blocks you can see in this circuit diagram? I am asking. Harshdeep. Yes. So we have two blocks. Okay, just uh, recall block diagram. We had an amplifier, right? We had a feedback network, right? Only two blocks we have in uh, oscillator. So when I say oscillator, two blocks should come to your mind. One is amplifier and second one is uh, feedback circuit or feedback network. So amplifier is your transistor amplifier. Transistor with R1, RL, and RE. Okay, three registers connected along with the transistor works as a perfect amplifier. And the feedback network is your three RC sections, what I have connected here, R, uh, C, R, C, R, C, R, three RC sections. You just observe that three RC section, we call it as a feedback network. And feedback network is designed with RC circuit, resistor and capacitor, only two components. But how many uh, comp capacitors you have connected, how many register? Three, three. So why three, three? Because each RC section you have designed such that it produces 60 degree phase shift. So three RC sections in the circuitry or in the feedback path will generate you 180 degree phase shift. That is the idea. Why you have to produce 180 degree phase shift? Can anybody tell me? Why? Because your amplifier, transistor amplifier, it is in C configuration. Yes, common emitter. Emitter is connected to the ground, right? So common emitter configuration, transistor amplifier produces 180 degree phase shift. I told this many times in the presentation. C amplifier produces 180 degree, means if signal, uh, what you are giving, see, you can just observe red uh, sinusoidal wave here, negative, it is going negative and then positive, right? But output you can see, it is going positive first and then coming to negative. So meaning is the output signal is 180 degree out of phase from the input signal that is appearing at the input of transistor. NPN transistor, what it is connected here, right? Means amplifier part produces 180 degree out of phase, right? So that's why you have to arrange or design a feedback circuit which can produce 180 degree phase shift so that both the signal, signal at the input of amplifier and output of feedback network both should be in phase, correct now? When both should be in phase, we say it is a positive feedback. That is achieved and oscillations are possible. Or you, you can say your uh, no, uh, RC phase shift oscillator produces oscillations perfectly without any difficulty. So that is the idea here. So feedback, it is mentioned here. Feedback is there were RC sections, three RC sections put together will generate you required phase shift and make signal in phase. That's it. So simple one amplifier, RC phase shift network. Okay, so that is a circuit. You should be able to write this in the exam if RC phase shift oscillator is asked. So that's why the name RC phase shift oscillator because RC sections in the feedback you have connected and that produces a phase shift. Uh, equal to the phase shift of amplifier. Okay, so that's why the circuit is called oscillator circuit, no doubt, but RC phase shift oscillator. So same RC sections, what I have shown here, these are the responsible components for generating a signal frequency. Why? Because actually this capacitor charges, discharges through this uh, registers. Charging, discharging, charging, discharging. That wave, what we have seen across the charging, discharging during a rectifier with filter, 
So similar kind of reaction happens here. Similar kind of uh, no uh, charging and discharging takes place in the RC sections. And finally, by tuning uh, the registers values or capacitor values, you will be able to generate signal of this nature. Next slide. Just I have taken RC section. First, a general layer circuit RC section you require in the feedback network. Correct. But in my case, in my RC amplifier, RC phase shift oscillator, I have three RC sections. Correct. Right hand side, you can see three RC sections uh, C1, R1, C2, R2, and C3, R3. Meaning, C1, R1 producing 60 degree phase shift. C2, R2, after two RC sections, you will be getting 120 degree phase shift in the signal. You can just observe the bottom wave form. Okay, this is original signal coming at the input, right? Yeah, blue line, blue colored wave form. And exactly opposite signal, you are getting 180 degree out of phase signal um, after uh, 180 degree phase shifted. This are three RC sections. After three RC sections, what wave you are getting? This is a red uh, colored waveform, right? Means you are producing exactly 180 degree out of phase signal from the feedback network. That is a conclusion you have to draw here. Okay. In the beginning, maybe it is uh, 30, 60 degree by one RC section. Second RC section, it is 120, and third RC section, 180. That is how the requirement is met after three.